Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel and to another quiz video. So for today's quiz video, we are going to continue with the series, mini series of quiz videos, where we tackle the Chronicles of Spira. So we got Ricochet 2002 coming back at it again with another quiz video here for us. This is part two, and if you guys missed part one, be sure to check it out in the description below. I will have a link to it, so if you guys, can, if you guys missed that one, you can go ahead and tackle it. You don't really need to do that one before doing this one, but I thought just because he created a second part, I figured why not we go ahead and tackle it. So this difficulty is tough, and the last quiz was average and I scored 9, so if this one's a bit tougher, then we'll see how I do. Hopefully I do better, but we'll see. You guys can play along, of course. I'll have links to this quiz also in the description below, and let me know how you guys did as well. It's a general knowledge of Final Fantasy X, so it's not like it's pertaining to anything specific. Anything that can be found in Spira is fair game in these kinds of quizzes. Sometimes I wish there are some quizzes that last like a little longer, like maybe 15 questions. If not a little bit more, maybe 20, maybe no more than 20. Uh, average score is 6 out of 10. I've never done this quiz before, so we'll see how we do. And let's begin. So, at the beginning of the game, where were the girls Tita's talked to before going to be sitting for the game? East block in the front row. I think it's East box. East box sounds... Box seats don't make any sense. It was That's way too short of a line. 5th C from the left doesn't sound right, and North block in the front row. I think a lot of us should get this question right just because of how many... Especially if you played it multiple times where it's like you hear them just say, East block in the front row! It just sounds very... It just clicks in your head because you've just been hearing it for so long. How many of the faiths are females? The Mega Sisters always count... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, he's seeing this only count as one. I'm thinking of the scene in Lord of the Rings with Gimli. It's like, that still only counts as one. Bilfor is female. If it's a male... Ixian's a male, Shiva's female, Bahamut's a male, Yojimbo's a male, Anima's a male, and the Maga sisters are male, are females. Uh, well, sorry, Anima's a female, I should say. So there are four. Four Aeons are female. Final Fantasy X, Kimari doesn't speak until after Operation Meehan. Uh, I believe this is true. If there, I think if there was a part where Kimari spoke Perhaps not directly to Titus, but if there was a part where he still spoke until um, after. I hope they don't count like the grunt and the growls, because if they do, then that's a bit of a technicality, because it's not technically speaking. True or false, Riku has to activate the power source in the underwater ruins so that they can see the airship at the bottom of the ocean. Activate the power source in the underwater ruins. Underwater ruins so they can see the airship. I mean, yes, because when we, after she activates it, we do see a silhouette of what looks like the roulette, the spinning part of the airship and we kind of see that sort of like a version where it's all covered in rust and stuff but we do see it all lit up once Riku activates the power source. So I want to say this is true. How, the Besaid Aurox haven't won a single game in how many years? 10 years. They never won a game. I, I still remember that quote in Waka's head uh, or in my head from Waka I should say. I am not Waka. Before becoming Braska's guardian, Oren was a what? Uh, he was a warrior monk, actually, and he was set to go really far. In fact, if he had chosen to take a hand of the daughter of a high-ranking priest, he would have probably taken the role that Wen Kenok has taken in the events of the game. Did Wen Kenok take the hand of that daughter? I don't know. I hope not. Wen Kenok's kind of an asshole, but regardless, they were still friends. But anyway, the answer is Oren was a warrior monk. Drunkard, that was Jet. Let's ball player, that was Jet. Maester, probably, I don't know, any, like, just Skull. Micah. Alright, now we're tackling 10-2. Okay, here we go. So it looks like six questions pertain to 10, and then only four pertain to 10-2. Okay, I guess they didn't split this one evenly. Who found the sphere containing the young man resembling Titus? Okay, it definitely wasn't Yuna. It wasn't, I believe it was Kimari, actually. And it, w it would make sense, because the, the Faith Scar once held the Faith that would conjure up dreams Xanarkin. So it would only be appropriate that a sphere of a person could re would resemble Titus would have been found in Gagazet. So yeah, it's Kimari who found it, gave it to Yuna, and that sort of triggered her wanting to become a sphere hunter. The Japanese names of Logos and, or and Ormi are Uno and Sano. I don't actually know this one. I don't actually... I'm not familiar with their Japanese names. I think Uno is a Japanese name, but I don't know if Sano is. I feel like if this is false, then it's going to be like one of them is true and the other one isn't. So I, I almost want to go with false, but it's a guess because I actually don't know. So this is actually a 
Shuyin's variation of Slice and Dice is called what? Terror of Xanarkin, Slice and Dice, Hyper Slash, Hit and Run. Oh, so we're talking about the actual fight with uh, Shuyin. Okay, I believe the Terror of Xanarkin is Blitz Ace. I'm pretty sure... Okay, so it's not Terror of Xanarkin. So it's either Slice and Dice, Hyper Slash, or Hit and Run. So here's the thing, right? I just fought Shuyin not too long ago. During, and that was during my like Final Fantasy X-2 stream. I could look, I could see it, but I don't know if he ever got a chance to use Terror of Xanarkin before I defeated him because I was just dark knighting it. I almost want to... His variation of Slice and Dice is called what? Is it just called Slice and Dice? I don't think it is. It might be called Hit and Run. It doesn't sound that cool, but it's like... I Okay, the thing is, I know for a fact Terror of Xanarkin is Blitz Ace, so it, that can't be Slice and Dice. Slice and Dice is just when you hit the opponents back and forth like six times. I kind of want to go with Hit and Run. I think it's Hit and Run, even though that sounds a little uncharacteristic. Could be wrong, though. In 10-2, the Blitzball free... Oh, my goodness. Who on Earth plays Blitzball in 10-2? Does anyone even know this? <laughs> with the highest starting shot stat is who? Auburn. Don't know who that is. Rin, Bartello, or Zevron. So I didn't even know you could actually get Bartello as a, as a free agent. Okay, I don't think it's Rin. I think Rin plays a midfield. I know Zev Ronzo plays a little more front field as opposed to a midfield. I have no data on Bartello or Auburn. I think I'm going to go with Auburn because I don't know who that is. I know Rin plays more midfield. Zev Ronzo is, well, he is forward. Bartello, I have no data on. Auburn, I have no idea who that is. I want to say I'm happy with these answers. I just hope we get more than six. So let's go ahead and see how we did. Okay, so East Buck at the front row. That's correct. Uh, four, we got that correct. Bale Four, Shiva, Anima, and the Maga Sisters. Kimari doesn't speak till after Operation Meehan. Okay. Oh my goodness. Wow. Tita. Oh, that's right. It was Titus who actually activated the power source. Oh my goodness. I knew it. I was like, if any of these questions were false, it was because of like something like this, where it's like you take one detail and it's like you just twist it. Yeah. Now that I think about it, it was Riku was just like pointing at like go over there, go over there, and Titus would go mm, and he would go. Duh. Anyway, that's that's a blunder on my end. I should have thought about that a little longer, actually. Ten is correct. Warrior Monk's correct. Kimari's correct. In most versions, they are Logos and Ormi, but in Jap- Okay, so Uno and- Okay, so I use the same logic here. And if I had used this logic for number four, I would have gotten it correct. Using that same logic got me the wrong answer for number eight. Okay, I knew, I knew Uno was a name. Or either Logos or Ormi. I just didn't know if Sano was. Which is why I answered false. Because I'm like, if, if this is going to be false, it's going to be because like one of them is not correct. It could be like Uno and Dose or something. Uh, hit and run. All of his attacks are pretty much identical. Yeah, that's true. It's just that I just knew that Terror of Xanarkand was Blitz Ace. So it couldn't be Terror of Xanarkand. Final Fantasy 2. Okay, this one was a pure guess. But I'm going to take it because I got it right. To get Auburn, you have to get a max scout level and 40 CP. Which is probably why I've never heard of this person because I never, I didn't invest into Blitzball long enough to sort of know that. Uh, Blitzball Mania, if you play, if you play Blitzball in 10-2, I am sorry. But if you do, I am sorry. So we scored eight, definitely scored higher than the average. So let me know how you guys did in the comment section below. And let me know if you guys have any other quizzes you guys would want me to tackle in videos. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you wish to see more related content. We are currently doing quizzes and lore videos. And other than that, this is Enzo signing out and I will see you all soon.